one. Hello, precious ones. We love you. We've blessed you. Another week, God has blessed us with another week. And we are here today. Oh, how we love Jesus. We want to welcome all of you to today's program, Kiss Time with Jesus, brought to you by COPUSA. I am your host, Nina AJ. Hi, hi, children. Hi, 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 hi children. children of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Jesus, friends, friend of the little, little children. children. Welcome all of you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Today, God has blessed us with another day. And today, we have so many fun in the pipeline for all of you. We have a special guest that will be leading Storyline today. And we know you're also a special guest. You, Yes, you at home watching us. Precious ones. We will give the opportunity to those that have zoomed in here and are here with me to introduce themselves and they will come to you at home. So we will start with the first person. Hi, my name is Gabo and I'm from Tampa District. Hi, my name is Afia and I'm from Charlotte District. Hi, my name is Gibson and I'm from Chicago District. Hello, my name is Jessica and I'm from Chicago Re region. Hello, my name is Benedict Deboa and I'm from the Cincinnati district. Hello, my name is Bridget Goldberg and I'm from the Charlotte district. Hello, my name is Rachel Goldberg and I'm from Charlotte district. Hello, my name is Racy Crunch and I'm from Chicago district. You are all welcome to today's program. We love you all. We appreciate you so much and precious ones at home. We appreciate all of you for joining us today. Relax, take a seat, get a glass of juice or water or a fruit and enjoy the program. Grab your Bibles and your pen and write something down. We thank God for bringing us to another program. Now, precious ones, before we go on, we have to learn our memory verse. It is always important for us, precious ones, to learn our memory verse. And today, our memory verse will be taken from Psalm 69, verse 30. Psalm 69, verse 30. I will praise God's name in song and glorify him with thanksgiving. Psalm 69, verse 30. I will praise God's name in song and glorify him with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Precious ones, Amen. I want you to repeat after me. And then when we are done, I will let you all say it together without me. Okay? So Psalm 69 verse 30. Psalm 69, 69 verse 30. I will praise God's name in song. I will praise God's name in song. And glorify him with thanksgiving. Amen. And glorify him with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Now I want you all to say it together without me. One, go. Psalm 69, verse 30. I will glorify him with God's word and glorify him with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. May the Lord bless all of you. Precious one, it's always important for us to learn our memory verses because it is good to learn what? To some of you don't really spend time reading your Bible, but the Bible tells us to learn, study his way, meditate on it, right? If you read your Bible, it will help you to grow spiritually. Um, the Bible is my best book. The best book to read is the Bible. The best book. You remember that song? Yes. So you need to read your Bible. You need to learn your memory verse because it will help you a lot. Precious ones, we have a guest speaker today that will be leading um, our what? Our storyline. Our storyline will be taking our scripture from Exodus 15, 1 to 21, Exodus 15, 1 to 21. And then 
the, the topic for today is Moses and Miriam were thankful for God's protection. Moses and Miriam were thankful to God for what? For his protection. The month of November, remember, there's something important that we all, there's, there's, there's a big date that we all celebrate. And that is Thanksgiving. So in this month, we are, we've set it aside as what well, Thanksgiving, and we are going to educate ourselves how important it is as precious one to be thankful for what God has done for you, to show gratitude when somebody do something for you. So the topic for today is Moses and Miriam were thankful for God's protection. So that is what we'll be talking about today. And we have a special speaker here, and she is going to lead storyline today. Her name, she's a Dickness, and she in she is she's coming from Harrisburg District. And her name, she's a teacher there. I love this lady so much. She has her own show or program that she runs every Saturday with the district, um, Hensville, um, Harrisburg District in New Jersey. And she is here today to share or to share the word of God with us. So precious ones, let's put us together and with a smile and welcome Dickness Golda Idol from Harrisburg District. Auntie Golda, over to you. Hi, hi children. Hi, 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 hi children of the Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Auntie Nina. I'm so glad to see you all. It's so wonderful to see all of you. Just as Auntie Nina was saying, this whole month is a month of Thanksgiving. We're going to be talking a lot about Thanksgiving. Now, what we are trying to do for this whole month is that we should always have an attitude of gratitude, that we are not going to wait. For those of us in the United States, we are not going to wait for only November. You see that special day that we say thank you to God and we are grateful for everything that he does for us. We are not going to wait, but we are always going to try to have an attitude of gratitude that every day, we will count our blessings. First of all, we will thank God first for all his goodness. And then we would also be thankful to our family, to our friends. Because I tell you, friends, if we sit back and we think about all of the good things that God does for us, we would always, always say thank you. Now, let me ask you a couple of things. Did you have any difficulty opening your eyes this morning? No. no. Did you? No. 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 Right? When you decide that you are going to just get up and walk and put one foot after the other, did you even think about it, how you were going to do it? Mm -mm. Of course not. And right now that I am speaking to you, and Aunt Nina is also speaking to us, every time that we come and we have conversations, don't we understand each other? Do we even know? We just open our mouth and we just speak. You know, if we think about all these things, don't we have a reason to be so thankful to the God that created us? How is this possible? When we just get up, we open our eyes, and there we are. We are walking, you know, and all those things, God makes it possible for us. So, precious ones, all I want you to know is that there's so much to be thankful for. But mm -hmm. if you get so busy, right? If you dwell on all the negative things that were going on, you wouldn't even look for the good things that God is doing. But today, we are all going to remind ourselves how important it is for us, right, 
to be thankful all the time. Now, we are going to look at the scripture in the Bible, an example of two siblings that God did so much for them that they were in such a difficult situation. But God did such a wonderful miracle for them that they used their words to thank God. And that will be an example for us, okay? So I am going to give you a background of the story and then Benedict will read the whole scripture for us. We all remember the people of Israel, right? They were in slavery for a long time. And it looks like there was no hope because the people that they were slaves to, the Egyptians, they were really wicked. They never gave them any time of day. They were maltreating them. They were letting them work for free. And even with that, they always make sure that they were so miserable. And so the people of Israel, they were always, always praying to God. God, can you send us a savior? Can you really save us from all the slavery? Because when you are a slave, right, you don't have any freedom. What it is is that every word that there is, the Egyptians make sure that the Israelites do it and they don't pay them. And what they do is that sometimes when they fall short, they maltreat them. They actually whip them. And it was not an easy life. So God really made sure that he was going to save them with Moses, right? Moses was chosen by God to save the people of Israel from bondage. And so it wasn't easy because, because the people of Egypt were really having free labor. They didn't want the Egyptians to go. And they came the Pharaoh too. So even when God told Moses that go to the Pharaoh and tell him to let my people go because I want them to get out of slavery. I want them to be free. Every time, so many times, Pharaoh said no. And so God had to really, with a strong hand, 10 plagues it took to get the people of Israel freedom, okay? So when the people of Israel became free, they had to leave Egypt to go to the promised land that God has promised for them. So the people of Israel were going from Egypt to the land of Canaan, where God has what? Had promised that he was going to give that land to them. And they were being led by Moses. So can you imagine the joy that the people of Israel had when they were going from all this slavery? Just imagine all these years of hard work, of hard labor, and then their freedom has come. And so they were so happy. Now, in fact, the people of Egypt were also happy because the plagues that God brought to the people of Egypt was not easy at all. So when the last plague came, and oh, the last plague was all the firstborn sons of the Egyptians, they died. The people of Egypt said, you, we can't take you guys anymore. Go, take your freedom and go. And Pharaoh also said the same thing. Go. And actually, the people of Israel asked the Egyptians, hey, can you give us some gold? Can you give us some silver? Can you give us some good stuff whilst we're living? We work for you and you guys didn't pay us. They said, you know what? Take everything. Just leave. Because your God is what? So strong for us. Guys, now, what do you think will be that kind of thankfulness that would be in this Israelites, their hearts, that kind of thankfulness that they would feel. They were so grateful to God. So while they were going, they were happy. They were grateful. Okay, God has delivered them. So they were so happy. And so they begin to, ah, God is good. Look at what God has done for us. We are so happy. But that happiness was short-lived. You know why? Because 
when they got to the middle of their journey, whilst they were happy, the people of Egypt and their king, Pharaoh, he now began to think, what have we done? All this free labor. So we are going to let them go. And then we are just going to go. Who is going to do all the work for us? We're going to do them ourselves. No, let's go back and go after them. Maybe we can get them back again. Now, at this point, they are in front of a Red Sea, an ocean. Okay? And they lifted up their eyes. The people of Israel lifted up their eyes. And there, the Egyptians are coming. All right. So, let us see this whole situation, boys and girls. Now that the people of Israel are in the middle of an impossible situation, in front of them is the Red Sea big ocean. If they go forward, what do you think is going to happen, guys? Anybody can answer it. If they go forward, what will happen? They will drown. They will drown. They will drown. Well, what if they decide to just go backward then? If they go. They... Okay. Yes, if we we'll go ahead. If they go, um, Pharaoh and his... Um... And his guards or his servants will um, get them and make them work for him again. Exactly. Thank yeah. you, Ifua. Exactly. If they go back, Pharaoh and his army, all these chariots are waiting for them. Wouldn't you say this is an impossible situation? And now when that happened, now the Israelites, you see how human beings are, the Israelites have forgotten all that God has done, all the many miracles that he did to bring them to this point. And you know what they began to say? Now, Moses, you have brought us here to die. Really? We love being slaves. Can you imagine, friends? Actually, they are telling Moses now, we love being slaves. We would have loved to stay there. Now we are here. If we go forward, we're going to drown. If we go backwards, these Egyptians are going to kill go Why did you do this to us, Moses? Now, if you are Moses, oh my goodness, right about now, you are really also very worried. These people are angry at you. So Moses, like he always does, prayed to God, called on to God. God, what should I do? You told me to bring the people of Israel to this promised land. Now look at the challenge that we are facing. And God told Moses, do not worry. You see this Egyptian that you're looking at, there will be history very soon. Do mm -hmm. not worry at all. So God told Moses, look, the rod that you have in your hand that I use for miracles, you see that you see that sea stretch out your hand stretch out your hand and when moses stretched out his hand something amazing happened the waters okay they actually parted can you even imagine that the waters parted the ocean parted and so there's a wall on the left there's the wall on the right and the people of israel they just walked on dry land. Hallelujah. Now, if you are one of the people of Israel and you have seen all this danger that was coming and God did that for you, whilst you were on your way walking on that dry land, which is supposed to be an ocean that has parted, what would be your attitude? What would be your attitude? Now, can somebody tell me what would be your attitude at that moment? What do you think? Yes, I Benedict. If I had been talking to Moses, I would have apologized and I would have been very grateful that God has rescued us once again. That is wonderful. That is exactly how you would feel. God bless you, Benedict. You are so right. You would say, oh, God, I'm so sorry that 
I wasn't really sure that you were going to save me. But now that you have saved us and we are on our way, thank you. Man. Right? I think some of them would actually start singing. Yeah. Oh, yes. Because they would have been so elated. They would be so excited. Wow. And then what happened was that all of them, God made sure that they went safely to dry land. But the Egyptians thought they could, you know, also go in. But they didn't know that the people of Israel were special. So when they decided to follow them, even though God is doing such a miracle, they were not scared. They went in. You know what happened? God told Moses, well, I'm saving the people of Israel. Do you know what you have to do? Stretch your hand again with your staff to the ocean. And you know what happened? The waters came together again. And so God did a mighty miracle. Okay. And when he did that, Moses, who was their leader, he had a sister called Miriam. When they looked at what the Lord has done, saved them from all these chariots, all these, they didn't have any weapons. They didn't have anything. If the Egyptians were able to capture them, they would have either gone back to slavery, some of them would have resisted, and some of them would have died. So when they looked at what God has done, just as Benedict said, they were so grateful. And Moses and Miriam, they just burst out in song. Then they began to thank God. And that brings us to our main scripture. Benedict, can you please now read our scripture for us, which is in Exodus chapter 15. Exodus okay. chapter 15. You are going to read from verses 1 to 21. And then we are going to just uh, listen to the song that Miriam and Moses, they sang when God delivered them from the Egyptians. Okay. I 15. I will sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted. Both horse and driver has hurled into the sea. The Lord and my strength and my defense have become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him. My, my Father God and I will exalt him. The Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariot and his army has hurled into the sea. The best of Pharaoh's officers drowned it in the Red Sea. The deep waters have covered them. They sink to the depths like a stone. Your right hand, Lord, is, is, was majestic in power. Your right hand, Lord, shattered the enemy. Your great, in the greatness of your majesty, you threw down those who opposed you. You unleashed your burning anger. It was consumed like them. It consumed them like stubble. By the, by the blast of your nostrils, the water piled up. The surging water stood like up like a wall. The deep waters congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy boasted, I will pursue, I will overtake them, I will divide the spoils, I will gorge myself on them, I will I will withdraw my sword, and my hand will, will destroy them. But you blew them with your breath, and the sea covered them. They sank like lead in in mighty waters. Who among the gods is like you, Lord? Who is who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in glory, glory, working wonders? You stretch out your right hand, and the earth swallows your enemies. You, thirteen, in your unfailing love, you lead people you have redeemed, and your strength and will guide them to your holy dwelling. The nations will hear you. We're here and tremble, anguish, and grip the people of Philistia. The chief of Edom will be tired, terrified, I mean, and leaders of Moham will, will be seized with trembling. The people of Canaan will melt away. Terror and dread will fall on them. By the power of your arm, there will be as still as a stone until your people pass by, Lord, until the people you brought pass by. You will bring them and plant them on the mountain of your inheritance, the place, Lord, you made for your dwelling, the sanctuary, Lord, your hand established. 
The Lord reigns forever and ever. When fierce horses and chariots and horsemen went to the sea, the Lord brought waters of the sea back over them, but the Israelites walked through the sea on dry ground. The Miriam, the prophet, Aaron's sister, took a timbrel on, in her hand, and the woman followed her and the tim, with the timbrel and, dan, and dancing. Miriam sang to them, Sing to the Lord, for he is hardly exalted. Both horse and driver was hold into the sea. Amen. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Now, Gibson, I think you have something to say. Go ahead. My, I have a question. Is like, why is God angry? And I thought God would never get angry. And what does he mean as by the blast of your nostrils? Can you say it again? My question is, why is God mad? And I thought God isn't is never mad at people for some reason. And two, um, why? What does it mean as by the blast of your nostrils, the water piped up? Yeah, who wants to answer that? Um, I will. Go ahead. So first question, the reason why God was angry was because the Egyptians were mistreating the Israelites and God didn't like that. And before the fair, the bad pharaohs came, there was a good pharaoh. And Joseph, and Joseph came to that land as a slave and then he helped the pharaoh interpret the pharaoh's dreams. And so the pharaoh gave Joseph lots of land. And Joseph and his brothers and his fathers made and their wives and mother made a great nation which was the israelites and then when the new when the new pharaoh came who was bad he was afraid that the israelites would overthrow them so he told his officials that the israelites would become slaves for around 300 years i think and the, and god was upset because joseph first born the israelites and the israelites haven't done anything wrong they're all peaceful with the egyptians but then when the new pharaoh came he told them that the Israelites have to be slaves. God was upset. So when the Israelites came to escape the, into the Red Sea, God brought the water down the Egyptian to teach him a lesson about not enslaving people who haven't done anything wrong to them. Um, I want to add on. Um, that yeah, can you speak up a little bit, please? Go ahead. I want to add on that... Um, God was also mad because they didn't worship him. They worship a, a false god, gods, and um, that was one of the commandments. You shall um, did not worship any false gods. Wonderful, wonderful. You see, one of the attributes of God is that He's just. All right, friends. God is just, okay? So God is just, and he cannot behold unrighteousness, right? So what happens is that most of the time, God gives us what? Second chances. So that was why, remember, we're talking about all the plagues that were coming. God was warning the Egyptians that you better treat the Israelites well, right? So we should always remember that all actions comes with what? Consequences. All right, Jessica. Go ahead. I have a question. So mm -hmm. which of God which of God's qualities is Moses thankful for? All right. Who wants to answer that? Which of God's qualities was Moses grateful for? Um, Gibson, go ahead. I think uh the qualities that Moses was thankful for was his unfailing love, strength. Leadership and holiness. I think glory too. All right. I think if we also had a hand up. I was going to say the same thing, so I agree with him. Okay. Okay, Benedict, are you going to answer the same question? No, Go ahead. I'm actually going to add on to um second chances. Mm -hmm. Back then, in like in the beginning of the Bible, like when Jesus wasn't there yet, God wouldn't usually give second chances. Usually, God will strike them dead. Mm -hmm. If they do anything wrong, I'm Thanos. 
Mm-hmm. That's Great right. Great contribution. Great contribution, children. Fantastic answers. Great job. That's right. Aren't we really grateful since we're thinking about Thanksgiving? Aren't we so grateful for the what Jesus did for us? Yeah. Aren't we so thankful? Because yeah. Jesus died for us, we get to say, God, we are sorry, and the blood of Jesus, you know, takes care of all our sons. But those yeah. days, they didn't have that chance. Wow. Wow, wow. So um, let's talk more. Let's delve more into it. Okay. What are some of the um, qualities, right? Uh, what are some of the descriptions that uh, Moses gave to God? What are some of the things that Moses said about God, right? While Moses um, was thanking God. What the qualities uh, that mm -hmm. Moses was thankful for was his unfailing love, he'll love him no matter what, his strength, mm -hmm. his leadership, his holiness, his glory, etc. His leadership, mm -hmm. his glory, his unfailing love. Boys and girls, don't we also feel that same love from God? Yeah. He loves us so much. Yes. Let us even look at the season that we are living in right now with all this COVID, all this, whether we're going to go to school or not, all this uncertainty. But guess what? God is taking care of us. He's taking care of our families, right? Look at your mom and dad. We go to work. God protects us, right? So just as we are saying, it is so important to give thanks. Okay, Gibson, I think your hand was up. I would like to add what Gabriel said. Um, Can you speak up a little bit? I would like to add what they, to Gabriel mm -hmm. said. Another way he described God as a warrior who is powerful, strong, great, and majestic. Wonderful. Let's talk about that. He said what? God is a warrior, right? He's powerful. He's majestic. So you see, these are some of the things. If we want to thank God, right, we have to think about those things. If we say God is a warrior, what does it mean? He fights for us, mm -hmm. right? When we get into difficult situations, right, we can be like Miriam and Moses. Say, God, help. And God will do it. God will help us. And when he does that, that gives us what? Strength. And then we'll say what? Whoa, God fought for me, right? So Boys and girls, we don't have to worry so much about so many things. We have God who is a warrior and he's yeah. got our back. Oh my goodness. That's, that just makes me happy. Me too. He's got our back. Mm -hmm. So we really don't have to worry at all. When we get to a situation where we don't know whether, you know, you look back, it's not too good. You look at the front, it's not too good. You know, you can go to God and he will come true for you. And when he does it, we remember to say thank you, okay? So how does Moses express his thankfulness in song? How does he do that? How does he express his thankfulness in song? Um, yes, if what? He expressed his thankfulness in song through imagery such as by the blast of the nostrils, mm -hmm. the water filled up and praising God. With right. Song, awesome. So he began to actually describe what God did, right? And I love it so much. He said, wow, God just from his nostrils, right? He blasted what? The water. Can you really imagine that? God from his nostrils blasted the water and then he just what came apart. So you know what Moses and Miriam are doing? They are counting their blessings, right? And as they begin to recount all that God has done for them, they begin to do what? They begin to praise him. If we are, go ahead. If we're not there yet, I had like a song that was similar to like count your blessings mm -hmm. it, it's like 
Count your blessings, lamp the one by one. Count, Count your blessings, lamp the one by one. Count your blessings, lamp the one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Wow, God bless you. If I love that song. Do you, do you guys know that song? I really love the song. It says, count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them okay. one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. All right, now that Ifwa has given us this wonderful song, I want to ask all of you, if you think about all the good things that God does for you, what are some of the songs that comes into mind? Yes, Gibson. Uh, I have to study to follow Jesus, I guess. Oh, can you give it a little? I have I have to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No telling back. No Wow, you guys are taking me to when I used to go to Sunday school. <laughs> Same here. I love, oh, I miss Sunday school so much. I know. Those days. Yep. Those days. Those are yep. wonderful times. Wow. Yep. Gibson said his Thanksgiving song, because of what Jesus does for him, yep. he has decided to follow yep. Jesus and yep. no turning back. Anybody yep. else? Auntie Golder. And yes. Racy and Rachel mm -hmm. and Richard are so quiet. You may have oh. to get them back and go with, yeah. All right. And Racy, mm -hmm. do you have any song that reminds you of the goodness of God? Yes. Uh, All right. It's the song, Great is Jehovah. It's like, Great is Jehovah. Jehovah. Great. Jehovah, great is Jehovah, great is Jehovah, great is Jehovah. That's wonderful. That's a beautiful song. That's a beautiful song. Anybody else? One more. One more. When you think about the goodness of amen, God. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Which one? Amen, amen. Blessings and glory. Wisdom, wisdom thanksgiving. Amen, amen. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So you see, there's so many reasons to be thankful to God. That is why we started by saying that we should every day have an attitude of gratitude. Yes, Erase, go ahead. I also wanted to add that um, everyone knows that thanking God doesn't only come in one form. Like mm -hmm. whether you sing, whether you dance, whether you play musical instruments, you can thank him through anything you do really for example like Cain and Abel Abraham um Noah after the flood they offered offerings and sacrifices to God to thank him Mary Jesus's mom she sang to thank God 
So I was saying that everyone should know that thanking God doesn't only come in musical form. You could do a lot of things to thank him. Fantastic contribution. That's wonderful. That's awesome. wonderful. Awesome. That's such a good point. God Bridget. bless you, Eresi. That's such Bridget. a good point. Bridget, do you have your hands up? Yeah, I think she's been... Oh, I'm sorry, see, yeah, Bridget. Go ahead. All your videos, so... Um, go ahead. Go, go ahead, Bridget. Ahead. Okay, so I was going to ask if anybody had any verses that are mm -hmm. different to thank the Lord. Do you have any, anyone? Yes. Anyone can jump in. Yes, go ahead. Psalms chapter 7, verse 17. I will thank, I will give thanks to the Lord because of his righteousness. Amen. 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 Good job, Richard. I think, um, Benedict, your hand is up. Go ahead. I have to, I actually have two things. One, my memory verse is Ezra 320. And mm -hmm. also to Rishi, um, Really, right now, they don't really give sac offer sacrifices to God. Mm -hmm. Usually, it's in musical form or poems or something in that case. But yes. back then, when God, you could actually hear him, and you can even hear him now, cycling through your brain, you can hear him in your ears. That is when they'll give offerings and sacrifices. Mm. For sure. Wonderful. Jessica, go ahead. <laughs> I also have another verse to that thanks God. Mm -hmm. In Ezra chapter 3, verse 11, it says, And they sing responsively, praising and giving thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever towards Hallelujah. Israel. Hallelujah. Amen. With a great shout, when they Amen. praise the Lord, because of the foundation, the Lord, oh, sorry, of the Lord house, uh, the Lord was laid. Amen. 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 Go ahead. Um, I have two things. First, mm -hmm. I wanted to respond to Benedict. I don't mean like sacrifices like they did back then, but like mm -hmm. when you go to church and you give an offering, you're giving it to yeah. God. That's it's kind what of what I thought. Absolutely. And for the verse, I had Chronicles 1634. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Amen. 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 I'm enjoying myself. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know. Oh, my goodness. So, you see, even the word itself, thanksgiving, right? Because you are thankful, you do what? You give. You see, that makes so much sense, right? You are so thankful, you do what? You give. That's why Rishi is talking about. You thank God for all he has done for you. And so when you go to church, you do what? You give offering. That's part of your what? Your thanksgiving, right? All right. I think somebody else has something to say. Gibson, go ahead. Many of, many people who wrote these verses were in a situation that only God could help. So that's what I see. Mm, wow. That's wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, fantastic. See, they were Good in job. really difficult situations. And then God showed up. Yep. Right? Showed and whenever up. God showed up, they said, Oh, thank you, God. Listen, guys, you see, when I got married, I wanted kids so bad. And I kept praying, God, give me children. I want kids. I want kids. One year, I kept looking, how's this going to happen? Oh, then God gave me a son. Can you imagine how happy I was? I think probably your mom too would say the same thing, right? So sometimes you get into a very difficult situation and then God just what? Shows up shows and up. answers your prayer. And then yeah, you yeah. begin to what? To give him thanks. Now, I am going to tell you one song that I love so much, okay? That one is, we thank you, Lord. We thank, thank you, Lord. You. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. If I wanted to also add something. So and if then Bridget. Go ahead. Oh, okay. All right. So we go to Ifwa and then we come to Bridget. 
Um, a verse that um, no, it's first Thess first Thessalonians chapter five verse sixteen. Verse sixteen. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances. Mm. For, for this is God God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 Oh, wow. Let's talk a little bit about this memory verse that it was said. You see the last place, the last verse, it says what? That is God's will. Yeah. Boys and girls, so it means that God actually wants us to do what? To be thankful, right? God wants us to be thankful. And when we are thankful, God actually appreciates that. Okay. All right, Bridget, go ahead. It's a, was it Bridget or Rachel? Rachel, go um, ahead, Rachel. I wasn't able to say my my verse, so um, mine mm -hmm. is Psalms chapter nine, verse one. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart, and I will recount all of your wonderful deeds. Hallelujah. Amen. Good job, Jessica. Go ahead. So when you're saying your story uh, about how you were uh, praying to God that you wanted a child, it also reminded me of Hannah's of Hannah's story, how she Amen. was also praying for God and then praying to God to give her a son. And so God answered her prayers and gave Hannah Samuel. And so Hannah is very grateful for that. Amen. 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 Great. That's yes. wonderful. Wow. You guys are <laughs> awesome. And you guys are wonderful. Right. Benedict, go ahead. I'm just saying that like mm -hmm. if you don't if you don't stop, if you just stop praying, mm -hmm. and you don't give thanks to God, stuff is going to go down. This is memory verse Matthew chapter 5, verse 13 to 14. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say this in tree. And okay, I learned it in tree. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Now, Go so ahead. Then mm -hmm. I will not say said no and chin it. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, hallelujah. You need Ross and Hein. Crow out that be possible. Into me and ta. Amen. 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 I understood that. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Um, let me see, Mikhail. No, last year. Um, mm -hmm. And um, for Isabel, no, is a, is a, Isabel, I, f I don't remember her name well, but Mary's cousin or her sister. Elizabeth. 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 Mm -hmm. Um, she was too old to have, um, a baby, but, um, mm -hmm. then, um, she had a baby and she named him John, which mm -hmm. became John the Baptist. And That's right. John, John the ba John the Baptist, um, father denied Jesus, so he couldn't talk. Um, when the baby was born or when they were gonna name him. And then he was able to talk. Now that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Right. Erase, right. you go ahead. Um. What it also reminds me of is Sarah Abraham's wife, mm -hmm. and she's at a really old age, and she sang a song of thanksgiving, and she was able to give birth to Isaac through God, so that also reminds me of that story. Wonderful. That is so true. So, you see, boys and girls, God does so many things for us that we have to be thankful for, and also... And also, let us think about our families, our friends, right? So many people that make our life wonderful, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Even right now, it's cold outside. But when you are in your room, right, and it's warm, right, the heat is on, right? And then I know right after Everything is done. You probably will go and have some really delicious food. Somebody cooked it, right? And so you have to 
always, always be thankful, right? Wouldn't it be wonderful that you just, for no reason, you can just write to your notes, right? To your mom, say, mom, thank you for delicious food. That will make your mom so happy, right? Daddy, thank you for all that you do. Your friends, right? So all that we are saying is that we should always have an attitude of gratitude. We should never take anything for granted. God and our, all, everybody, our family, right? And also, even when we just sit back, let a lot of things, you know, sometimes we think it's nothing, right? Somebody may be having a bad day, even just a smile. A smile would make the person feel what feels so good, right? So before I end, right, with our lesson today, I would want all of you, after we are done, just think about a couple of things that you have kind of, you know, um, not really paid much attention, right? Let's say your sibling, your brother, your sister, who you think bugs you so much. But if you really sit back and you think about it, well, who are you going to play all the games with if he doesn't bug you, right? Who are you going to have a conversation with, right? If you begin to think about things like that, you will have a whole list, right? And then you can actually write down things that I'm thankful for, right? God, right? My friends, my family, the things that they do, then what you're doing is what? You are counting your blessings, right? And you are naming them one by one. And if you begin to think about it like that, oh my goodness, you will bust out into song just like Miriam and Moses. And you will also begin to sing songs. You would also begin to say, right? Always thanks is what? Action, right? We say thank you. We do, right? Things that shows that we are what? We are appreciative. So uh, unless somebody has something else, um, Auntie Mina, Auntie Nina. Yes, yes. How much more um, discussion can we, if somebody has something else to say? I think time is fast spent. Oh, so, is it? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> We've, we've had, we are having great time, great contributions. Unless anybody have any something else contribution, mm -hmm. we'll be ending now. Like okay. the final rounds and then. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. If we go ahead. Um, every time before I um eat my food, I pray before I eat my food, and I pray before I go to bed, and I pray every morning when I. Um, get oh away yeah! When I wake up, because that is also very important. We thank God for His provision, right, guys? The food, the shelter, all of that. We have so much to be thankful for. And yeah. guess what? I am so thankful for all of you for such a yeah. wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time. And I am so thankful to. Auntie Nina for letting me come and talk <laughs> to you about thankfulness. Auntie Nina, thank you so much. God bless you. So I God will hand you. over to you and then we will continue. Thank you so much. We are so grateful to God for Auntie Golda's life. She has blessed us so much. The question I have for all of you here, remember, what are you thankful of? Auntie mm. Gouda said it. Go sit down and write them down. What are you thankful for? Eresi, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my family. Awesome. Great job. Gibson, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for um, me having a good education. He's thankful, he's thankful, so he's one. thankful for what? Him being, God giving him the ability to have mm -hmm. what? To acquire knowledge, education. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jessica, what are you thankful for? I want to thank God. Uh, I want to thank God for not affecting my family with COVID-19 and protecting them from mm. pain. 
Jessica is thankful to God for divine protection mm -hmm. upon her life and the life of her family. Yes, uh, F1, what are you thankful for? I am thankful for God and I'm thankful for everything that he's given me. F1 is thankful for God for everything that God has done for her mm -hmm. life and the life of her family. Yes, Benedict, what are you thankful for? I'm just thankful for God because I'm going to have a whole list. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. he says. Amen, 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 amen. We are showing what our grateful mm -hmm. heart, as precious ones, we need to be grateful. Auntie Golda said this several times, attitude of gratitude. Don't forget, even mm. if you, forgot, you, you don't remember what we, what we taught today, remember what? Having an attitude of gratitude is the best thing you can ever have attitude of gratitude being grat show showing thankfulness when somebody do something for you you need to say thank you remember what if god has forgotten to wake you up mm -hmm. what would have happened to you you still stay asleep right mm -hmm. we get up and we just go without saying thank you yes bridget what are you thankful for i'm thankful for the ability to get food and to eat Mm. Oh, she's thankful for her daily what bread that God mm -hmm. provides for her. Yes, Rachel, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for the life that I have and I'm still alive today. Oh, Rachel is thankful for her life. God, she's so God, thank you for my life. She is thankful for her life. And Gabriel, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my bedroom. You're thankful for your what? Bedroom, my bed. Oh, Gabriel. <laughs> oh, Gabriel. Try to I, Gabriel. Love I, am, to sleep. I am thankful Gabriel. for my bed, too. <laughs> so, Gabriel, you love to sleep, right? Is that what you say? No, that's not why. <laughs> okay. Gabriel is thankful for his bed, mm -hmm. his bedroom. He's thankful for God, to, uh, to God for what? Giving him a wonderful bedroom, beautiful bedroom to sleep in. He is thankful for that. I am thankful to God for my life and for your lives. Mm. And Auntie Golda, what are you thankful for? Oh, I am thankful for my family and for something so little as laughter, right? Oh. Whenever... You know, you see somebody smile, somebody like, what does it They say laughing is contagious, right, guys? Yeah. When somebody smiles and when somebody laughs, and that's what it kind of like, it, you know, electricity goes all the way, right? Mm -hmm. So keep smiling, guys. It really makes people happy. Yeah. So we are all thankful. There is something that everybody sees that they are thankful for. Remember when you give a gift to somebody and you don't say thank you? or you receive something from someone and then you don't say thank you. We need to have an attitude of what gratitude. We have to be thankful to God for our life, for our family. So those that are celebrating their birthday throughout this month, we say what? Say big thank you to God. God, I thank you for adding another year to my years. Happy birthday to all the precious ones in the United States of America and around the world. We thank you. We love you so much. God bless all of you precious ones that have joined in on you at home watching us. We have learned about what Moses and Miriam being thankful to God for his divine protection upon their lives. They went through tough times, but through it all, through it all, they were thankful. Why? Because God protected them. God was with them every step of the way. Remember, through this pandemic, you and I are still going on. We mm. need to be thankful for our lives. We, we need to be thankful for the divine protection upon our lives. We love you all, precious ones. We have come to the end of our program. May the Lord richly bless all of you. May the Lord bless you for joining us today. And remember, even if you didn't learn anything, one thing you don't have to forget is that Miriam and Moses were what? <clears throat> Very thankful to what? To God for his divine protection. And also we need to have an attitude of gratitude for what all that God do for us. 
May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you safe. May the Lord keep your family. And may the Lord bless all of us here and you at home till we meet again next week. And until then, and we see you next week, is what? Bye. 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 See you all next week. God bless.